Hi, I'm Deborah Hawkins with IsYourChildGay.com. And I'm her son, David Hawkins. And we're here to tell you that it, it gets, gets better. better. I want to tell you about a story that happened to us. I know it happens to many people, uh, many families, and it's really painful. Um, th but this was, you know, a day in the life years ago before we came into acceptance as a family. We had gone out to dinner. Um, there, it was a Mexican restaurant. You know, we were almost finished with dinner, and you know, I, David had been gone, and. I just wanted us to have dinner. That's just what, that was my heart's desire for us just to sit down and have dinner together. And we were almost finished and in walks, I don't know, eight to 10 guys, you could tell it was like a football team. And they sat very close to our table and within moments really, we could feel the attack. We could feel, you know, and hear what they were saying and the comments they were making. And, you know, it was just so painful. It was just so painful and so devastating. And as a mother, uh, there was nothing I could do at that time. That's what I thought. There was nothing I could do but just sit there in shame and guilt. And, you know, it, it was just, it was really, it was really awful. And I just so wanted to help. I just so wanted to make it stop. But I couldn't. And, you know, on, on my end, I had... Uh unfortunately found a comfort or a regularity in these type of attacks, um, mainly from school or other activities. Um, but the fact that it was now bleeding into my family time and that they were becoming privy to the same assaults that I were, um, it really brought it to another level. And um, that was probably m my main hurt was that, you know, now, now it's not only me, but it's my family who are having to, to go through this. Um, but we're here to tell you why it does get better uh, and why this particular moment helped us define uh, the process of how it got better for us. And I think the main reason is because at that time I was still in my coming out process. I wasn't at the end of it. Um, and we were still in our and they coming were, out They process. were still coming out with me. We were still processing his coming out, yes. Uh, in that process, I'm sure for many of you, as it is and was for me, uh, there was shame, there was guilt, there was uh, some sort of ownership that I had to this. Um, and the fact that it was mirrored and reflected by other people magnified it um, dramatically for all of us. Coming out on the other end of it, at this point, looking back, um, I think that the main reason that it has gotten better for us is through open dialogue with them, communication with my parents as well as other supportive uh, community members. Um, getting real support. Getting, getting real support uh, and com actually coming through the coming out process. Uh, I can look back and say that I'm definitely on the other side of it. The shame has dropped. The guilt has dropped the ownership of doing something wrong or impeding on someone else's world uh, has completely fallen by the wayside. Uh, I hope that, um, that all of you watching begin or have experienced um, having all of that fall to the wayside and being able to live your life honestly with pride, uh, with health, um, and publicly to others. You know, I want to tell you too how it's certainly gotten better for me. Uh, the time that I was experiencing shame and guilt also, and as a parent, oh my gosh, what did I do wrong? All that's gone now. I didn't do anything wrong. I mean, our love for David is, is, is unbelievable at this point, and we're so proud of him. And it was a process. It didn't happen overnight. But he's right. That was a turning point. That whole thing that night, it was a turning point for us as a family where we recognized that that shame and guilt it wasn't ours. And we shouldn't own it. And it's not yours either. So the people who are going, going to act like that, just allow them to do their thing. And it's, it's probably won't stop. I mean, our hope is that eventually... It know, hasn't stopped completely for me. There's still moments in my hometown that I go out and I do feel a little um, uncomfortable. But I have to switch and I have to think... Um, like me now, not the 15-year-old that I was at that time, um, because we're not the same people. No, we're not the same people. As a matter of fact, we're better people, and we're happier people. And now our life is, is, really, is really great, and we want your life to be great too. So. And we want you to know that it, it gets better. It does get better.